Dreamscape UK. I'm Dazza70 and there's been a request on one of the forums I use, one of my favourite forums when I'm not in the Hampshire Cannabis Community Forum, is the Vape Black Forum. And there's a fella in there who's looking to get a new portable vape and he doesn't know what to go for. Should he go for the Pax? Should he go for the Da Vinci? There's a few others come up uh, as a portable vape. Before I got the MV1, this was my go-to, the Da Vinci. Like that, I've got it loaded up. Let's get it switched on. That's five clicks to get it switched on. Haptic feedback, tells you it's coming up. We're gonna get it up to 380. Let's see how fast it heats up. No. 380 to 415, I think is where this vape actually performs best. I think it gives some of its best flavor and its best vapor for performance between 380 and 415. However, you can go up, you can go down. You'll, you'll sort that out. To get the best performance out of this, it lacks a, a fine to medium grind. It's, it's quite forgiving with the pack and with the grind. It likes a medium to tight pack. I prefer a medium, you get a bit more airflow through it that way. And I prefer a medium grind to, to fine grind, either, either one. You don't want to go any more than a medium. That's up to 380. Let's see what sort of vapor we get for our first hit. I didn't take a big hit, I only took a little hit, I'm just priming it with that one really, it's really going to kick on in a minute and give me some lovely, lovely vapour. As I said, I like it on this vape, 380 to 415. And what you'll find with this is that it does take about a 0.4, but you get a nice 10 minute session that you can extend afterwards in various ways. But it's, it's a bit of a hog, to be honest. For such a small vape, such a powerhouse, it's going to take a, a decent bit of hurt. But you get vapour that's tasty. It's got a nice thickness to it, it will coat your mouth and tongue, and you're really going to taste it. And also, you can sip. There's always vapor ready for you when you want it. And it tastes really good. So that's my throwaway. If I'm out, that goes in my pocket. That's the one I'm using. So you're back in the oven, and the oven needs regular cleaning. Regular cleaning, otherwise it really gets stinky. It don't smell as bad as the Pax. Pax is really smell. That's the flavour chamber, that sits in here, so the vapour comes up, comes straight through this, up through the mouthpiece. This, you can pop that open, and you can put anything else in there, you can put rose hips in there, you can put whatever you want in there, you can put an extra, you get a nice spindly bud, you can put a spindly bud in there, it gets covered in reclaim, you then take that out after a little while, you roll it in your keef, You've got a really nice supercharged piece of wheat there. I got it on 380. You got the buttons on the side. 
So this has got smart paths. I don't particularly use the smart paths. Uh, not all strains are the same, not all weeds created equal. So if you put your smart path on, say for instance smart path 3, and it will start at 370 and go up to whatever you've got it to set up to go up over a period of 10 minutes. It will just hit where you start the increments and then hit the finish. On a different pack of different weed, different product, I'm going to be on 390 by now. But this is tasty, it's still getting good vapour, so it's on 380. So I don't need to go up and keeping it on 3A will be beneficial later when we use the glass. So as I said, this isn't a review of the Da Vinci. The Da Vinci's been out a little while. It's more just a session start to finish. So as I said, someone can see how the session looks with a with an IQ and if nobody's seen it before you get an impression of the sort of power that this little vape has. It's, it's a high end little vape. It's a conduction vape. So if you start a session you're gonna to want to finish it. You're not gonna to want to have a few pulls, put it down and then come back to it because it's not gonna be nowhere near as nice. Um, any conduction vape, not just this one, any conduction vape. You leave the herb in the chamber and it's really, really not going to be as good when you come back to it. But you can see I'm just taking little draws. Little draws and I'm getting lots of lovely vapour. It's like if I'm at home, it's like having a nice whiskey. If you've got a nice whiskey and you want to sip it, you want to enjoy it, you're not just going to knock it straight back and be done. That's a shot. This isn't a one hitter. This is a nice, you know, you're sitting around with your pals, or you're sitting at home watching a fight or a movie and you want something to sip on throughout. Mm -hmm. even little tiny sips there's always vapor ready and the Vinci customer service has gotten better they had a really bad reputation up until about six months ago and they really started to pull their socks up but I think they had to because other people have set their games up and you get left behind. Say like cleaning on this model. One of this, the big flaws of this vape, and really I'm nitpicking. It's a good vape. Is cleaning behind the oven. So you've got your chamber there where you pack your herb, and underneath where the flavor chamber goes. You've got the back of the oven. You do get reclaim there, you get build up there. You have to try and clean it. So you get a wet Q-tip, red tapered glob mop like that. Get the heat on and you get in there very quickly. Very quickly, very quickly. And not only are you wiping, you're also steaming at the same time. So you're getting that quite clean. Then you have to hit the oven and just there'll be a little bit of seepage. And you'll get it as clean as you can that way. And you get a nice stiff bristled brush. Get that down past the gasket, get it in behind that oven, give it a good scrub. If you've got to soak that in ISO, soak it in ISO. Do not have the vape hot when doing the brush, because you'll melt and you don't want yeah, you just don't want that mess in there. Still tastes amazing, but I'm thinking it's got to be done soon. The battery's going to run out, so I'm going to show you just how easy it is to swap out your batteries 
you've got your 18650s in here. Which makes it really, really easy. You can charge it via the USB. I don't recommend that with any 18650. Get yourself a decent external charger. And if you get your 18650s from Fogstar, you get a free case, you get some free wraps, some free insulators, uh, and they're really good batteries. They actually test better than the Samsungs, they test better than the LGs, uh, they're really, really good cells. Okay, that's done. So, let's get this done now before I the herb cools down too much okay I take the flavor chamber out because the, because it's warm it just slides straight out and the reason I do that is because there's not a huge amount of clearance when you open the battery and the battery can get snagged here and you can tear your sleeve which you don't want to do so I'll get the next one in I'm hoping it's charged We'll see. Okay, so flip it open the other way. Because we was vaping at 380 for the whole 10 minutes, this herb in here is still really green. Still really nice and green. So it's nowhere near finished. But we've had a 10 minute session. A 10 minute session that's had nice, thick, flavorful vapor. And as I said, IQ is really forgiving with the pack, really forgiving with the grind. It's a little bit slack, not too fussy about what you fill it with. Uh, it's not like the Firefly 2 where you can take her out to dinner, hold her hand, whisper sweet nothings in her ear, go meet her parents, and then maybe on the fifth, fifth night she might think about giving up a little vapor. All right, so that's going back on, we are charged, and now I'm going straight up to. to 4.30 and here come the honey this is my favorite piece of glass for using with the IQ I'm running it through a 10 to 14 mil adapter so you don't get really many 10 mil rigs or pieces so what else can we say about the IQ when I put this battery on because battery safety is, is imperative right that's up to 4.30 and normally through this piece I can get vapour so thick, even after a 10 minute session, that you won't see my wedding band through the glass. Yeah. And there's something very okay when you mix up a herb and you repack and you hit it for a 430 the first hit has a very certain taste that I really enjoy it's almost like a tussin a cherry tussin it's it's hard to describe but it's always the first hit after the repack at 430 it's really really nice See, I didn't even wait for that hit. Normally with a conduction vape, you take a hit, you let it build up, and the longer you take between hits, 
then the stronger the vapor. That one I hit, hit it again. You can take one or two second draws on this. I would recommend the shortest one being five seconds to feel the effects. And although it is a bit of a hog when it comes to product, when it comes to packing it, look, I've had a 10 minute session with lovely vapor, and now I've been hits off the honey, nice thick case. So if you're smoking a bomb or you're smoking a joint, you tell me that you're getting more at a point four, even point five, than that. You're not. You're not. And as I said, the flavour at high temps. Okay, what else can we say about the IKEA before we finish up? Don't smell as much as the packs. I don't really use boost mode. Uh, I don't really use the smart pass. I do love the fact that you can dial the temperature in by the degree. The cleaning itself isn't too bad. Um, you can bang various parts and I said don't listen to Da Vinci. I've got an ongoing thing with the book. It's just been resolved. I had to prove a point. I had to make a video. They've got information saying that you should put all of these pieces, there's, there's a little gasket on here that you should sink it all in ISO and leave it there overnight which I did to prove a point and now that little gasket has shrunk so badly you can no longer remove this flavour chamber by pulling it out through here you have to hook it through the side and pull it out oh by the way this little pick you get a tool, you get a carry can you get this little tool which is quite handy and this little tool which fits in the middle of it which has its, has its benefits but this is supposed to be from clogging the chamber it doesn't actually fit I actually use that instead that's much easier from clogging the five little holes right, let's see if we can get one more hit through this there's another one in there as well so yeah all the little gaskets they will shrink quite badly but Da Vinci instead of just sending me out new gaskets they did send me out a whole new mouthpiece a whole new flavour chamber but so they should because if you go big and this is your first vape and you buy this is your first vape and you follow their cleaning instructions you're already fucking yourself and that's not really fair because you're following their care directions on their machine and it's it's not what you should be doing so don't sink it in alcohol that little piece there can actually be dumped just with a q-tip with ISO and you just can clean it very quickly and rinse it off really quickly and you never need to submerge it that is the only piece I drop and I take the gasket off of that and I drop that in there both of those are ceramic, zirconia ceramic, they can both go in that little piece I don't put in well not when I'm not proving a point anyway let's get one more hit off of that tastes good that's the little adapter, it just sits that's a 14, that's a 14 to 10, and that works really really well. Now this is why I've got two IQs. This one is the throwaway. That oven is trashed. This is filthy. You need to clean this out straight away. So I'm gonna dump it out right now. 
but that's been my video session on the IQ I think I got good value out of that point for I don't know what you think but if it's helped if it's influenced you in any way I don't think you'll be disappointed by this vape uh, it is what it is it's a conduction vape I believe it's what's, what's classed as a session vape uh, it's not a one hitter you can emulate you can go big so you can pack fresh fresh pack straight through the glass at 430 take really big monster rips get massive clouds ma massive clouds and you can try and emulate something that you would get in this like, like the one hitter mode that you would get in this uh, but again it's not the instant hit that you would get with something like powerful like this but until this came out until this came out this is what I was going to if I was looking for a little portable vape you can't go much wrong with this one and if it, that's all this lap Da Vinci IQ let me think if there's anything else I can think I don't think so I don't think so it's been a while since I've talked about this vape again one I really enjoy sipping and pulling on using the glass on really really nice nice vape I'll see you on the other side shine on